So today's video is all about what and how to teach your three to five year old kids in GK and science. I'll also share a glimpse of how I introduce any new topic to Nirvi. So it will be much easier for you to understand what goes behind the scene of teaching uh, any new topic to her. First thing first, it can be really overwhelming if you are going to teach everything what others are teaching. So stick to what is age appropriate. And she is just like any other average kid. Make sure to make the activities which are age appropriate because otherwise it is going to be hard for them to digest the important next tip i would like to give is keep uh, things in sequence otherwise you're just going to mess up with the whole learning process and it will be very much uh, tough for your child to understand what is going on with this topic so for example if you want to teach your kids about say countries and states um, then you can start with the solar system. Why? Because in solar system, you can actually teach about different planets and then you can tell that you live in Earth. Then move towards continents and different oceans and then tell about different countries and the states. So it will completely make a sense in a sequence. And I'm going to be telling you all the topics which are really age appropriate for three to five year old kids. Now bring a pen and paper. I'm going to read all the topics so that you can write it down on the paper. It will be really handy and helpful for you whenever you are planning what to teach your kids. Now we will start with the GK. So in GK you can teach about people who helps us like doctor, engineers or electrician, electrician, electrician and uh, nurse and all those. Then you can teach about primary and secondary color. So like if you mix a gray and white, a black and white, it becomes gray. So primary colors are a few colors which makes different other colors. So you can teach about that. Then you can teach about difference between place, thing, food, animals and birds. So it is going to be really helpful for them to understand like these are different different things you know um, then you can teach about uh, solar system great place to start if, before starting with the capitals and the countries next is different uh, festival whatever in whichever country you live or whatever uh, you know culture you're following make sure to talk about different festival you can just google some craft ideas and uh, like diy activity ideas which you can do inside the home related to those festivals start talking about it uh, like four to five days prior to that festival so it is going to be really really helpful and make sure to tell the date of the festival to to your kids like when it is going to be happening and also talk about uh, like days date month year what kind of weather it is what season it is it is really important to start with those basic things first funny face you made a funny face <laughs> It's so funny. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Tomorrow is Friday and it is pizza party. Pizza party. Okay. Okay. That the next thing you can talk about symmetric asymmetric uh, objects. Then you can teach about different mode of transport like air land and water transport then you can talk about patterns so like stripes and dots and spots and wavy on these kind of patterns you can th uh, teach them through different kind of clothes that you can find in the closet it is going to be easy then you can talk about the uh, continent and few countries if you are willing to but um you can hang in there and if you want you can start um before they turn five as well and now we are moving towards science so in science you can talk about different cycles like um, water cycle or plant cycle butterfly cycle butterflies life cycle these kind of thing then you can talk about the body part of human and body part of plants different type of animal according to their eating habit and you can talk about volcano eruption as well a lot of people are doing this but i'm not really sure that nervy is interested in, will be interested in that but i'll give it a try um you can do a lot of diy activities for volcanic eruption but um again it is not a very necessary one in this particular age you can also talk about the clouds formation how the clouds are formed now i'll show you the glimpse how i introduce nervi any particular new activity okay so, so it is our first day of teaching her something new which is related to people who I helps love us so uh, i introduce anything new in the circle time first and then we move towards either activity or craft or anything related to worksheet so that she gets a concept 
so first thing first is what we have to teach her like the people who helps us so just the name like i'll give her idea she knows already about the doctor and all but still we have so many people who helps us so i'll give her kind of idea and let's go ahead with the electrician now we are on the electrician now so electrician electrician helps in electricity so if there is any problem if there is any problem yeah light yeah he fixed lights and switch okay who is she she is doctor she is nurse okay nurse helps doctor in taking care of the patients so when we go to hospital we see doctor and nurse okay nurse helps doctors and the patients to take and care and then take a little wipes right yeah they take the temperature and they take the blood pressure and take a temperature there yeah. and do in the injection yeah and we get hurt and we get plaster yeah nurse gives us injections she gives us plaster she gives Cross your legs. Mommy. Huh. So first. He is a doctor. Dentist. Do you see a teeth? Yeah. He is a dentist. And teeth we get. Hmm. If we get any cavity, it's a man. So we we use he for man. He is a. Cobbler. 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 Cobbler fix shoes. Shoes. Now I have created my own uh, DIY workbook for like all that these stuff which I have included over here. If you can see, um, it is amazing. Which has forty five pages and all are really in a sequence so that it is going to be really helpful for you to understand like what to teach when and also i have given the instruction in the last page like what kind of print you will need and if you want to go with the lamination you can if you don't want to go with the lamination totally fine if you want the same gk and science workbook be sure to check out the link in the description box it is in a huge discount if you get the whole workbook set in a bundle but if you want to get just this workbook be sure to again uh, go ahead and get it for your kids it is going to be really really helpful for sure you are going to love it so already so many of you have got it because i had shared about this on my instagram and you guys were really asking for it and uh, if you have any question be sure to also write me in the comment section i would love to answer because literally till date i reply to every single comment and if you have multiple questions or questions which you cannot ask here because i totally understand sometimes it is so embarrassing so be sure to dm me on instagram i would love to help you out personally over there i'm really active on there uh, by the way so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you got some inspiration some ideas and yeah definitely the information be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are new if you watch me for the first time i am pratya i make videos related to lifestyle parenting and home schooling so if you are interested if you are new i am pratya i make videos related to lifestyle and parenting and home schooling and sometimes so much in between too so if you are interested in these kind of videos be sure to subscribe hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys in my next one bye